If you're an Animal Crossing fan looking for a new adventure, a VR enthusiast looking for a new world builder, or just somebody needing an escape from reality, then Little Planet is definitely the game that you should check out. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll actually tell you how you can potentially get it for free. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. It's called one of the greatest public health challenges of our time. Our nation's mental health is in crisis, and there's one very big thing contributing to it. An alarming number of Queenslanders are having to turn to emergency relief and charities to cope with the skyrocketing cost of living. <laughs> Tensions reaching a boiling point in Cuba. <laughs> Hundreds of people participated Sunday in a rare public protest amid a worsening economic crisis that has left everyday Cubans without enough food, electricity or medication. A new consumer debt poll suggests half of Canadians, 51%, are spending more time at home to save money and a third are spending less time socialising. The new social phenomenon is called inflation isolation. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just feeling so much despair. Have you ever been so caught up in a game that the world around you just kind of fades away? Your brain, hyper-focusing on the task at hand, has no room for the worries of the real world. And when you finally snap back to reality, time has seemingly skipped ahead with hours ticking by in the blink of an eye. This is referred to as a flow state, and the Hungarian psychologist who coined the phrase has also been able to demonstrate a correlation between this state of being and a perceived level of happiness. This mental phenomenon was a factor in the global success of Animal Crossing New Horizons, which released at the precipice of the 2020 lockdown era. With fear, isolation, and a continual bombardment of worsening news on the forefront of everyone's mind, Nintendo offered an escape that was desperately needed at the time. Although the masks have since come off, the ramifications of the decisions made back in 2020 are still being felt today. So now, the team behind Little Planet is offering a new escape. Attention passengers, this is your captain speaking. We are approaching our destination, Little Planet. You are free from the pressures of saving civilizations or chasing after big bosses. Welcome to your unique utopia. Borrowing heavily from its Animal Crossing inspirations, the overall story is rather simple. You're a human who's traveled amongst the stars to come to your own little planet, which is inhabited by anthropomorphic dogs. I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> These interplanetary pooches are your guides, friends, colleagues, and quest givers. As your world grows, more friends come to visit. However, if you decide to act up, there's always the threat of being sent back to Earth to set you straight. Strap in, I'm rocketing you back to Earth this instant. I know that Animal Crossing references are getting old, but think Minecraft, Harvest Moon, uh, Stardew Valley, any of those cutesy world builders, the story's just there to really set up your adventure and provide some tutorialization. The developers have put an entire world at your fingertips and the rest is up to you. Ultimately, your story experience in this game is going to be as good or as bad as you decide to make it. Get ready to embark on a journey where the beauty of nature blends with your boundless imagination. The art style and animations had me grinning ear to ear through the entire time that I've spent with the game thus far. Matched by the charming music and sound effects, I truly enjoyed every sunset, weather element, firework display, and I even enjoyed the small things like the starry effects on the pointers. My biggest gripe with the game was the robotic and stilted dialogue. Ahoy there, me matey. Welcome aboard the little planet, where dreams be coming alive and the seas be full of surprises. Are ye ready? to embark on a grand adventure. All of the characters have this lifeless text-to-speech artificialness to both the content and the delivery of the dialogue. Some incorrect pronunciations, inflections, and wrong word choices tended to break my immersion, but hopefully as this game grows and sales increase, I can hope that maybe some voice talent is brought in to help elevate the experience. I am Rocco and guru of sport and health. In the meantime, we can just pretend the issue with these Martian mutts is that they're talking to us through a device like that dog from up. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. Squirrel! 
Another thing you'll notice is that despite the cartoonish art style, which presumably lessens the load on the MetaQuest 3 equipment, there's still a lot of pop-ins as you traverse the area. I'm hoping that with time, this will be remedied, but I'm a bit worried that as my world expands and grows, that the demand will make this issue a little bit more jarring than it already is. As with the Animal Crossing style games, you can sink hundreds of hours into this game, but everything you really need to know comes within the first few hours of gameplay. Similar to any other world builder of this nature, you're chopping, picking, and catching your way into currency, which will allow you to pay off your household debts, improve your tools, or help you customize your world with clothing options and furnishings. You complete quests, gain new furry friends, and slowly turn your planet into your own world. The mechanics are simple, but plentiful. The rewards for your hard work are visible by how the world is shaped around you, and with seasonal trinkets being added on a regular basis, there's always something to work towards, but you can reach that goal at entirely your own pace. I don't know what to do right now, please just give me a sign! Overall, everything generally feels good. It works well. There's a ton of player-friendly features like placing items in your backpack by reaching back behind your head or calling for a teleport if you get stuck in the terrain. If you come in expecting an early access Animal Crossing-esque gameplay experience in virtual reality, then you will not be disappointed and the game does a really good job at setting the early access expectations. I hate bugs as a garden's guardian. But you're an early bird who came before we finished our bug control, so we might need your help to catch bugs. I had a great time with Little Planet thus far, and I look forward to continuing to shape my world and check in with my furry friends again. It is truly a relaxing experience that will get you into that flow state and wondering where the real world time has gone to. I can honestly see myself sinking a lot of time into this game. With a development team that's this active in the community, continually releasing new features and updates, and a dedicated player base already intact, I can see a very bright future for this game. A sponsor board? What? Who are these dorks? And if you want to start your own little planet, head on down to the comment section right now. The pinned comment is going to have a link to the Total VR Facebook gaming group who's giving away two copies of the game. Giveaway only goes till March 28th, so head there now. If you're late to the party, don't fret. Check the pinned comments anyway, because if there's updated giveaways, I'll make sure that the pinned comment is updated as well. And I'll also include my referral link, so if you still want to purchase the game, you can get it at a 25% off discount.